Okay, hello and welcome to Reading Big Numbers. So in this session I'm going to show you a very simple trick uh, to read really large numbers, even up to the billions. And you can learn this in just a few minutes. And it's really good right up until pretty much the end of high school. You don't really do numbers bigger than that um, until you get to uh, doing physics or something at university. So, reading big numbers fast with Mr. G. Let's have a look. Okay, if you can read a number in the hundreds right now, you can already read a number in the billions. You already have that skill. It's a very simple trick and all you have to be able to do is read a number up to 999. If you've got that skill, you can read any number up to the billions really quickly. Prove it, I hear you say. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so here we have some really big numbers. I want you to look at them carefully. You might be able to tell me something similar about all of these numbers and the way that they're set out. So have a brief look. I wonder if you've thought of something. Perhaps the circles or ellipses will help you. What do you notice? Each of these numbers is set out in groups of three. Groups of three is really important, starting from the right. Okay, so you can see this first number has a 23 by itself, 855 by itself in a group of three, 220 by itself in a group of three. It's set out in these bunches of three. And whenever you write a really large number, they're set out in these bunches of three. The numbers might be separated by commas, as you can see in the top number here, but it also might be separated by just a space. In fact, we encourage you to do it with just a space rather than with a comma. That's just the, the trend here. So when you write a really big number, they're set out in these bunches of three. But the bunches of three start from the right, as you can see. So, I've got this mindlessly annoying little rhyme to help you remember that. It's really annoying. But annoying is really good. They sometimes make really annoying TV commercials that you can't get out of your head. Right? They're so annoying. It's so, so dumb. Right? But you can't get it out of your head. And that makes it very effective. So, here's how it goes. <coughs> I'll use my little icon man. Here's how to set the numbers out. It's number, 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 space, number, 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 space, number, 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 space, starting from the right. That's how you set it out. So when you're writing out these really big numbers, or if you've got a really big number and it's not written this way, that's how you set it out. All right, one more time, really loud. After three, one, two, three. Number, 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 space. Number, 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 space. Number, 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 space. Starting from the right. Good. Remember that and you can read really big numbers. So that's the first thing to remember. Put it in groups of three. This is important. This is important and I'll tell you why. If you can read a number in the hundreds, which is a group of three, you can use that knowledge to read a number in the billions because of what you're about to see. Because there is a something in the spaces. What is in the spaces? There's a hidden meaning. The spaces, in fact, become really important, even though they're empty space, so to speak. They hold the secret to reading the big numbers and to understanding the place value later on. Let's have a look at this one, for example. You've got uh, this thing, 94, and this other thing here, 658. I'm sure you can read those numbers. But the thing that makes it easy is the thing that's in the space. See this number here? It says 94. 94 what? Look at the space. Here is the space. It's 94,000. So, to read this number, you simply look at this as a 94 by itself. What's in this bunch of numbers? Just this number, this nice low number 94. And to figure out the place value, 
The first space, starting from the right, is the thousand space. So you say 94,658. This one here would be 12 what? What's the first space? 12,000 and 8, because it's just got 8 in the next bunch. And finally, now this is quite a big number. So we've got the, the next space. So the next thing you've got to remember is what's the next space? The first space is the thousand space. The next space along from the right is the millions space. So to read this number, don't forget you're going to read it in its group of three. So I'm just going to use the magic pen to highlight that. So, 62 million, followed by 806,000, and last but not least, 673. So you simply read it as 62,806,673. So there's a really easy pattern. So in other words, if you can read numbers up to 999, all you've got to do is remember what the spaces are. The first space is the thousand space. The second space, whoops, is the million space. The third space, if we get to it, is the billion space. It's all in these patterns of three. Thousand, million, billion, and the numbers in the groups of three still. So this really big number here is four billion, 362 million, 94,658. So reading it now, just continuously, 4,362,094,658. Really simple. Reading up to the billions, you did it in five or ten minutes, however long this video goes for. And that's good until the end of high school. Because you really don't deal with any bigger numbers than this until you get to, I don't know, advanced doctoral physics or something like this. Alright, now that you've now that you've done that. You can have a look at our original examples and have a look at them now. I'm going to give you a little bit of time now to say them aloud and then my class who's here with me is going to read them for you when I tell you. But first I'll give you guys at home who are watching the video time to say them now thinking about the technique. Okay, so in our class we're going to read these numbers for the people at home, nice and slowly and clearly so that you can be heard. Here we go and off we go. Right, 23,855,220. I think I heard a few people say thousand up at the 23 end. Let's go with the next one. Alright, now the next one's a bit special because it's got this symbol here. So let's see, what's this? It's 1,400 Very good. And last but not least. Right, 127,926. So there's a really quick lesson on how to read numbers into the billions, and uh, I hope you've really learned something. Play this back as often as you like to remember it, and we'll have some more lessons online really soon. Thank you, and bye.